Decisive Campaigns Blitzkrieg. Turn four. Let me turn these things back on. And uh, we've got some great encirclements here. We've got good weather, which means we can bomb, bomb, ba bomb. So, first of all, let's take over that evac point. I believe that's very important. And uh, we've got some surrounding here, don't we? the evening that I'm recording this for once, not the middle of the night or very late, a little bit earlier. And let's drop some bombs. Look at that. Got half of them, just about. Alright, and we will continue the execution. That's the end of that, at the loss of 50 machine gunners. Painful, but still a great deal. So we're going to continue to work on our surrounding of this. And we can get it, because we have cavalry. There they go. I'm going to get on this railroad here. Perfectly safe. Looks good to me. And, uh, well, I'd say this is in trouble, wouldn't you? <laughs> It doesn't look like it's going to live very long. However, let's get that engineer over there. And we'll surround this. Give it a little touch of artillery. Uh, I might come back to that. Hmm, how are we for... Long way away. In there. I think that's reasonable. Uh, I would bomb, but I want to make sure that they're available for over here as well. Yeah. Eight thousand. We dented their pride. Any artillery? One artillery. So I'm not sure. There's 8,000 of them in there. I don't know. There's no rush in getting rid of these guys, so... Why bother? Um, we don't have any artillery here. And there's such a small number, 11, that it's just not worth bombing them. So we'll just eliminate them this way and then get on with the business of getting over here and eliminating these guys as best we are able. of them over there. More than that over here. Let's see if we've got any bombers that can get that far. What do we got in here? Yeah. Oh, took out some anti-tank guns. It's not nothing. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Let's get our artillery up to the 
front. And fix this bridge easily enough. Now we know. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, yeah, that belongs to these guys. It doesn't. No, it does not. Hmm. Uh, let me see if I can get around behind. What do we got? Two forty nines. Uh, I think that's worth it. We'll work on that for next turn. See, the problem is I can't reach anybody <laughs> uh, from back there. So we have quite a few artillery units here. We should be able to do some damage. They don't have flak there, but they do down there. Uh, well, we're sending somebody in and seeing what happens. Whatever this is, I don't know what that is. That designation. Hmm. Probably some kind of gun. I think that's fine for now. We'll try and come around. But again, our objective is not to destroy these fortress units. We're much more interested in getting Guderian's convoy over to here. Okay, anybody we missed in the way back? Nope. Just these guys. I'm actually gonna... Oh. They're not on a rail, so they cannot be transferred to rail. Let's get them as far over as we can. I think that's probably our main purpose. Good, this good. looks like a good catch up. Everybody's kind of in the same spot. So we're zipping over pretty fast. It looks like we'll be there in two more turns to the, the spot where we can go south. Uh, how many points do you have left? Just ten. Might be able to get to here. Nope. Because <laughs> they gotta get there and fly back and it looks like they couldn't. Yeah, It's a one-way trip. Uh, can I move you anywhere? Yes, closer to the front, that's fine. Okay, so we've... We'll leave this up here, this annoying Polish resistance, because there's no need to kill ourselves in reducing it. Every turn we surround them and keep them encircled is a good turn for us. We've captured this, we'll take it out. Um, hmm. Honestly, a little afraid of that. <laughs> Since the train has already been damaged, we'll, we'll collect that next turn. Okay, here we have. What else is over here? An artillery. Okay. Something that can be hit by a lot of artillery with tremendous results. And, uh,. Now we'll just finish it off. That seems fine. Not even, <laughs> not even a problem, you know. Okay. Let the fourth army guys take the top side. with the artillery. And we'll 
continue our moving in to encircle these folks. So in theory I want this, right, because it's a victory point, but we'll get it. And I think it's more important to work on surrounding the enemy here. same lineup. Okay, and we've got something over here. We could move that other artillery closer, but I want to use it on the city to the south. It's pretty effective. Um, let's see if we've got any plane power. We should, hmm. but no. Okay, we we'll get my headquarters closer best results. And that's that. Alright, so we've brought these guys down from the north. Let's get them back up that way. And we'll continue on in this direction. Which the professionals call south East. Boy, we can't really get very far, can we? Uh, in the hopes of surrounding these units here. City. No, <laughs> there's more of them than there are of us, so let's not do that. All right, investigate pause now. No, we were able to take it. That's cool. I'll pop up there. Hmm, not a lot going on there, but should be able to exterminate this, uh, what happens here? No, it's actually better with that border guard unit there. And still alive, because we didn't fully surround them. But, oh, we could attack again. I think I'll do that. It's too good of a chance to give up. Issues now we're chasing them right instead of yeah I'm not bringing OKH <laughs> any closer to that uh, uh, check it out we do have some ten core buddies over this way to say feel the passeron pas you may not escape do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars. Give us 200 of your guys. And I think that's very reasonable. As Encore rushes forward. I think we'll get them heading in this direction, Encore, up to this intersection, which looks pretty valuable. Hmm. is all eight army. Ah, we've got that. Hang on. And 
this down here. Okay, I'll deal with that. A minute. All the artillery. Can we bomb? We can. Phone call there. Uh, let's see here. So let's see, we bomb this. Let's see what else we can do. Ooh, we're way overpowered. Oh, that's pretty good. Two ninety-five. Yeah, that's triple. I'll go for that. This will help our stats a lot. Okay, and before I move anybody, I <laughs> better get clear on what I'm doing. All right, these guys are going to head over this way to surround this town. down there. That's fine. They can stay there. Get the artillery up. Anybody else? Nope. Hmm. There's really not much here, is there? Well, let's hit them. <coughs> BF 109s. Oh, that's fine. Ooh, ow! What on earth? They must have been really entrenched. Yeah, look at that, 181. Okay. So, that hurt. Oh, and I may have accidentally engaged the engineers. <laughs> so, don't do what I did there. Ouch. Okay, we'll be moving north. Let's get these guys headed this way. Still green. Your eighth army. Just hanging around out here somewhere. Here. Okay. Good. Everything looks good. Boy, that was brutal. They really have uh, that Kalish here. They really have dug in. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna have to divide and conquer here. But first, we need to eliminate this. And we do have an engineering unit there, ready to go. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So let's get some guys in place here. Now I'm a little nervous. I don't, I don't want to... Uh, who are you with 10th Army? That's great. Okay. I don't want to directly attack the city now if they're embedded like that. Uh, what can we... What can we see about them? Entrenchment 150. Yeah. <coughs> so... Just not that many of them, though. No. They really are in the way. Okay, let's get those engineers out of there. Okay, let's give it a go. 
I'd like to get through here faster if I can, but I can. Yeah. Well, that wasn't so bad. Uh, why was it <laughs> so brutal in the other way? Um, and now I can use my bridge. Yeah, and we should be able to get around this. So what you got here? Okay. supply issues. guys to come up over the, the northern top here. Entrenchment is 90. Here's the guys we got to worry about. 90. Okay. So, do we have much artillery? No. Hmm. <clears throat> Not sure if we have planes left. Don't think so. Okay. I'm, I think I'm going to wait on that. Oh. Well, well, well. Yeah, two to one, but I'm going to attack this because it's flat in a train. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I'm going to try and take this out. Finish it off, huh? And what about you? No. It's as good as it's gonna get. Out of curiosity. Well, we do have two to one, but it's not really that great. It's not good enough. Hmm. Now it is. Still got hurt, but All right, let's try this direction. chewed up okay yikes it really does not pay to do frontal attacks does it 
I guess your 10th army. Yeah, this is all 10th army. Okay, okay so I gotta pull this up. Wow. So we didn't have quite full encirclement here. I'm gonna hit it with artillery and try and squish it. Can't turn that off. <laughs> All right, I can live with that. Unleash the fury. Hmm. Wow. I mean, we sure made them run for cover, but. One. It's their entrenchment. 102. So there's some who have been knocked around a bit, but 102 entrenchment is pretty rough. Okay. And all I'm doing is spreading out here. We've got plenty of power here to surround these guys, but I want to see if I can get around behind them. Um, hmm. See, there's so much power tied up in these areas, like I've said, that uh, you really have to be clear on what you're doing with them. Okay, let's get these guys as far forward as they can go. Fifteen core. Yeah, so we're good. We're good if we go all the way out here. Fine. Still in command. And seven core. One thing I did notice is there's this whole area back here, and a town. And it's at this point, I would love to have a train to zip down there. But we don't have one nearby. They're in the north. Are you Army Group South? You are. Ooh. Check it out. It's a long way. I'm ready for next turn, and hmm, we're spread pretty far with the command for Army Group South. Um, nope, can't do that. this guy off. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we're trying to get around. We've got a link up now. gonna do what I want yet <laughs> nope not good okay uh, 
Who's the artillery? There. I'm a little concerned with the Slovak deployment, but they're going to get help. That's happening. Uh, I think it's most important we get this going here, by which I mean the 17 core. Okay, we can hit this with a good amount of artillery. And I believe we are out of Luftwaffe. Yep. Let's see what is left. Okay, so we could... We do have a reasonable number to attack them with. What is there? We don't know. Entrenchment is probably pretty good, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to get on with it. And uh, it turned out to be... The math was in our favor. Um, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, nope. Wrong direction, boys. <laughs> okay, I'll just get up there. And the 14th Army. out a little further to the east. Okay, we're good. And behind, I want... There. So now we've got a rail line that at least goes to there. It's, I need to get these guys taken care of so that we can have supply over to the far east of the map. Got there. Ah, you got another artillery, do you? Okay. That worked out all right. Um, we can attack them again. We are over two to one, and we finished them off. What more could you ask for, frankly? Um, or, yeah, this is good. I mean, they're cut off from escaping. We're closing in on Krakow. We're going to get that. It's good stuff. All right. And that tells me what to do with seven core. You are part of 10th Army, and you're part of 14th. Well, I'm going to go over here <clears throat> and find out more about this. <laughs> Ooh, that's a long way back. You need to be over there. Anybody else? Maybe we need to get closer. Looks like it's going to take a couple turns. 10th Army, let's see how far south it goes. Okay, that's fine. So if I go there, I'm still in the green zone of the command range. Can't use our artillery, which is disappointing. But this looks so ugly. <laughs> but it's what we got. Um. Yeah, we don't know much about them either, do we? Okay, well, we've dealt with the south. Got this running east. We've surrounded this. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, it's only two to one, and these are the guys with, like, yeah, high enough entrenchment. I'll wait. 
wait till next turn. Since we had a bad experience this turn and got punched in the face a little bit. Eighth army? Okay. Uh, I don't think it matters. I'm going to hop over here. We're still covering that town. We could probably move this guy, but again, I don't know there or there, like which direction. So I might as well leave him just holding that point. We've got. I don't like that at all. Uh, I mean, okay, 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 it's just with uh, one of its. Army Group North Division, so it's okay. That's not going to get into trouble. <coughs> We've got these guys coming down here. They'll surround and take that out. What is that? Rogonzo. Okay. I have a funny feeling I didn't do anything up here. <coughs> everybody up close and that's as good as it's gonna get 60 yeah <clears throat> that's what I think I want okay yeah there's probably a two to one nope nope uh, no I'm not attacking you with a flak unit it's almost funny Okay. Oh yeah. This guy. How how is that not reachable by rail transfer? We're on a rail line. It's just baffling. To the city and now. Nope. <clears> hmm. <throat> I don't understand it, and it makes no sense to me, but whatever. Okay, so the key thing is we got these guys, 19 core, headed over to the east. In the north, they are doing a great job. And now let's accelerate. Fortress areas, one of the most dangerous areas, but we're just going to bypass it. I don't even need to walk up to it. I just don't want them walking up <laughs> into the north. Ooh, I may have missed some units up here. Uh, not there, but... No, 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 we got them, we got them. They were the brown units, the third army units that are close to the fortresses here. They're, they're in this area now. It's cool. Hmm. See what I'm saying about getting behind us? Look at that. Oh, they're abandoning that city. It begins with P. Peter something or other. Peter Cow. They're attempting to break out that stack there. Interesting. Oh, good. Another clear weather turn. We've gotten a few more victory points. Up to 17% losses for the enemy. I'm going to save. Yes, I would look to replace it. Stats. So we can see them dropping quite a bit. So, you know, almost 50,000. We're down about 10. Inflicted 123,000 on them in exchange for 
about 18,000 of us. So we've got an encirclement and a bridge to fix, which I probably could have fixed last turn. I can't remember if I sent that engineer over there or not. These guys are going to come running down this way. And then as soon as they get over to here, they're going to zip down. So they'll probably get into this area at the end of the following turn. And we need to continue the assault towards Thorn this way. Actually, watched a video on Thorn last night. It is not a punctuation. It is a letter of uh, the old alphabet. And uh, I found out there were actually nine more such letters that have gone out of common usage. One of them is called Ash, and I think Ash and Thorn would be an amazing name for a book or a series. Uh, looks like we should be moving that up towards the front line. Alright, so uh, we're getting the 18 core mobile over to help out the Slovaks and relieve them. We're moving it on Krakow. We'll, we'll collect up to here turn we'll just gobble these guys up it will probably be the end of this stack we're still rushing this way these guys are coming their goal is to get to Lublin 15 core we've got yet another encircled stack to destroy and uh, I think they abandoned the city I'm not sure I'll zip up with one of my tanks but just to surround this stuff uh, M That'll free up these folks to head up in this area. So they too are heading towards Warsaw. This is going to go bye-bye. We're going to capture more territory over here. And probably take that out, surround this, or get very close to it. That's not going to survive very long. And then we'll be coming down this way. But you see, if, as I and other people have discovered, if you try and punch your way into Warsaw by going through this whole salient here and through all these towns, it's just a slog. Um, you don't have enough strength over here on this side on your own to really attack, so that's why I need to bring this over. Um, that will be eliminated. We can come south. Looks like I've got various air units I can move to the south very soon. So, thanks for watching. Um, 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 yeah, um, podcast. I will. I just released this. It's kind of a cool visualization tool for. Um, it's called Design Thinking for Operational Excellence. It's for uh, teams, any kinds of teams, executive teams, even floor teams, though, could use it uh, to get on the same page. It has a lot of interactivity with it and getting everybody kind of rowing in the same direction, facing in the same direction, and. Uh, defining projects that you should be working on. And this comes from Joseph Paris, uh, head of the Operational Excellence Society, founder of it. And I'm a Board of Advisors member of it as well. Um, so he just came back and said, hey, I've got this cool thing <laughs> that a designer helped me with. And they've run several groups. Um, Cummins Filtration Division uh, was one. So it's actually been used. <laughs> it's not just theory. Um, and it's really interesting, you know, to get um, agreement on what you're supposed to be working on. That's that's very hard to get out in the real world, particularly when uh, the stakeholders involved have not seen each other in the same room for a while. And uh, the really cool thing about this is you do not need any special training to use it. You need a facilitator who knows what they're doing, a leader. But uh, other than that, everyone else, as long as they know their job and uh, what's involved, they can just show up and help. So I'll link to that, and um, as usual, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. Uh, if you know somebody who would like this kind of stuff, please share it with them so that they know the channel exists, and I will see you next time.